Yeah, welcome to this week's video. First of all, I want to thank everybody for the amazing support. I mean, some of the videos have been up only for a few weeks and we are well above 12K views, so that's fantastic. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet to the YouTube channel, please do, okay? And there are some questions uh, between the comments, people asking, right, uh, if the online academy itself is more detailed and better than the, the tutorials here on YouTube. And yes, of course, these are free videos I'm making and the online academy, you find the links down in the description, are definitely more detailed and uh, more, go more in depth than, than these free videos. Uh, yeah, of course, between the comments also some, some haters and yeah, one of the hate comments went into a discussion and I will address uh, that right here now with uh, Sifu Peter. Yeah, so one of the comments was about what if uh, Mike Tyson, right? Can that function, all, all the grappling stuff? You know, you have to keep in mind, Mike Tyson is a human specimen. You know, he's really an athlete uh, of exceptional quality. Of course, you compare something with that, you have to compare a comparable Wing Chun fighter who trains in the same intensity, who, who has the same physical attributes, right? Uh, the same mindset as a Mike Tyson, then it would be fair. If you take the average Wing Chun guy who trains two times a week for like one and a half hour, you compare that to Mike Tyson, that's, that's just idiotic, right, to say that. Now, having said that, yes, these things do work in sparring, but of course not out of mid-air, yeah? You, you will not, if you punch, uh, go with a toxal like that, grab it out of midair. No, we use the Q sow to bridge the gap, right? And then from there, we can uh, apply our Wing Chun technique. And we have a specialized distance for that. We have a saying, right? Never box a boxer, never wrestle a wrestler. Our distance is between, our preferable distance is between the wrestling and the boxing distance. That is where we do that. There we place our, our punches, our elbow techniques, and do our, our grappling, yeah? our grappling hand techniques with the finger. Right, so we have the distance, we have the range, right? Then when Sifu uh, Peter fires, I use the Q sound, there it is, you see? The line. And from here, I would go. Of course, he can change, do things, and I do my things, right? I do my things. And from here, I might fire the chain punches, right? Just to give an idea. If we spar, right, he, he fires off a, a, a combination or something, right here, you see the hand? There is where we use the finger. There is where the toxal comes into, into play, right? There is maybe where I can use this kind of controlling techniques, you see? I have him off balance. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.